Hey guys, welcome to Bond Xcode Tutorials. Today we'll be learning how to play a YouTube video in your application. It's a really simple and a fast way. Basically when you open your application, it's gonna load and there's gonna be a play button and when you click on it, the video is gonna start playing. And we can also minimize it, share it, and pause it, and fast forward it. So let's get started. So let's get started by opening Xcode and creating a new project. Once your Xcode loads up, choose the application under iOS and single view application and hit next. And we'll name our project playing YouTube video in Swift and my language is going to be set to Swift not Objective-C and the devices can be anything you want and hit next I'm going to save it in my applications folder you can save it anywhere you want once your project loads up open main.storyboard in main.storyboard drag in a web view from the object panel if you can't find it, there's a search option and you can type in WEP and it should show up since it's the only one that's starting with W. And once you find it, drag it into the view controller. Don't worry about the size because we're going to change it in precisely in the measurements panel. And I'm going to get my simulator size to 4.7 inch in the simulated metrics tab since we're not using constraints and once we have the web view in our view controller go ahead and go to the fifth button on the top right in the measurements panel and then change the width to 350 and the height to 200 yours can be anything you want but this is the default size that YouTube will give us and and it's a pretty good size from the user interface and uh, open up assistant editor and then choose view controller dodge swift in the assistant editor we're gonna click on the UI web view in the main dot storyboard and then hold option and it'll create a line and drop that line under class UI view controller and then it should open a small window on the left we'll name that web view and then keep it everything as default and then connect and it automatically makes everything for us and now let's close the assistant editor referencing the X and let's go to the view, view controller dot swift under super dot view did load we're going to create a variable variable is going to be named YouTube video link so VAR space YouTube video link colon string equals two apostrophes and in the middle for now we'll just put in the HTTP colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash embed We'll worry about the original video at the end. In the next line, write down let space width equals and in the next line, let height equal length. We'll worry about this at the end too. And in the next line, we'll write let frame equal 30. This is the border of the rectangular box that we put in the web view in the next line we're going to write let code colon ns string equals two apostrophes and in the middle of the apostrophes we're going to put greater than less than sign and in the middle of that we're going to write iframe space width equals backslash two brackets and in the middle of the brackets we're going to write width space height equals backslash and a bracket and height and we're gonna close the bracket space src equals backslash and then another back bracket and 
we're gonna write YouTube video link. It's the, it's the variable that we created on the first line. And then we're gonna close the bracket and space frame border equals backslash and then again a bracket and then in that we're gonna write frame and then close the bracket and then space I love full screen and now we're done with the iframe and now we have to close the iframe so now we're gonna open another greater than less than tag and in the middle of that we're gonna close the iframe so we put a front slash and write iframe and then close it and then a semicolon this is an HTML link that shows the properties of the YouTube screen that we're gonna put and you don't have to type this down because the all this code will be in the description and in the next line we're gonna write self dot web view dot load HTML string and then bracket code as string comma base URL colon nil and then we're gonna close the bracket now let's fill in the width and the height go to main.storyboard and click on the web view and then go to the measurements tab and the width is 300 so we're gonna go back to vcontroller.swift and in the width section we're gonna write 300 And same thing for the height, ours is 200. So we're gonna go ahead and write 200. Now let's go over the code that we've written. So we set let code equal the iframe, which is the YouTube frame. The width we said has to be the width, which is 300. And the height we said is equal to the height and which is 200 and the SRC we said it is equal to the YouTube video link variable in which we put the string of the YouTube video link and then the frame border we said it's the frame which is the 30 and then we gave it permission to allow full screen and then we close the iframe. Now if you know HTML code, then you probably heard of the tags and closing the tags by putting a front slash. Now the only thing that we're left is to put the actual video link. So open your favorite browser and find a video and I'm gonna find our YouTube channel and copy the link of the video and when you're copying the link we don't need the watch question mark after the question mark there's a V and there's a bunch of letters there that is your videos code which is unique so all we need is to copy that unique code ID paste it in our Xcode after embed. So copy that and go back to Xcode and after embed put a slash and just paste the link. And that's all we need to do. So let's go ahead and hit run. And there's our simulator loading up with the frame and if you if you see there's a little gray border and then there's our thumbnail and then we, when we press play it's loading and there's it full screen and we can fast forward it and we can also zoom in zoom out and then we can minimize if we want and if we rotate the device to the left or right it automatically adjusts the size of the screen and we can share the video to Facebook Google Plus or Twitter and we can add it to watch later.